This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. I have the courage to ask questions than to you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answers to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 16, NASDAQ up 201, S&P's up 28. Gold, gold contract up $7.40, trading at 1923 an ounce. We have silver up 61 cents, $23.67 an ounce. Light sweet crew down 44 cents, $80.81 a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note down 17 ticks, trading at 109.03. The third year off a full point plus 11 ticks at 117.28. And king dollar, king dollar right now. There we go. King dollar down 84 ticks, trading 103.293. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to start with the S&Ps, the futures, because I want to show you what this uh, future did this morning, and that's why we're going to be... Well, the bounce has started. We finished you know, an ABC structure down. It went right to where it should have gone, bottom line. So if you take a look at this future, what you're going to see out here this morning, which we did is that we came right to, it's pretty amazing actually, right to where we went up on Friday. And we had done 44,000 contracts. That's where we were going into this morning. And that was 4370. And we got down to 4372, and we did that with 21,000. And particularly when I was watching this, I said, oh, this is about as deviant as it get, meaning that you had already gone up, right brought them in come back down as you come back down you can see you had volume when you come back down it's like oh no here we go again and the bottom line is that the volume contracted in a dramatic way okay so that's the s p i suspect we're going to keep going higher if we go over to the spy what you're going to see is this take a look at the spy the spy we got down into the price point of uh 433 01. Now, I suspect what we're going to do, if you take a look at this, the last time that we had volume on the way, not volume on the way down, but what's sticking out like a sore thumb is right there, is 446.77. Now, you take this, if you do the fib on the 446.77, it would just be deviant enough. That's a 50% retracement of the way down. Now, the first day up, we are contracting with light volume. So, what, let me get, let me clean this chart up again for you. Because if that's what we do, and we do it with light volume, all that's done is set up a monster ABC down. Because I want to show you this. The bigger issue is this. We broke lower with conviction. And what we did, what we're, where it would go, is that by the time we actually get up there, we do two different things. You do a 50% retracement of the move, but see this big trend line that I have? My bigger take is that we're gonna get down to this uh, 340 level. Is it 340? No, 380, okay? Because we broke it with such conviction, you know, it's pretty intense. That, so bottom line is this, is that watch I move this, if I move this, what you're gonna see, I gotta move the whole thing. Oh, I can't move the whole thing. Bottom line will end up happening. This line will keep rising, and more than likely that the three, the, I mean the 446 level will also line up with the trend line. So you break the trend line, the larger trend line, you break it with conviction, with volume, you go back up, you test it, you can't handle it, it goes down south. That's a Bud Rolfs trend line genius play. That's the bottom line. So we'll see where it shakes out, but that's where my head's at right now. Now, the cues. Let's take a look at the cues. So cues also came down. And what happened with the cues is that 
you know, the, the queues basically didn't come as far as the S&P. That being said, let me pull this back again. As soon as you dug into where its strength was, okay, which was the, uh, you know, 371 area, it's like, okay, man, you're going. It did it. Now, this is what's sticking out with the queues. The queues still have high volume on the, on the, on the lows. It also is going to have a hard time getting through 367. So the queues are set up a little bit differently, okay? We could get to probably 373. That's what we'll probably do right there because that's ice. That's how that seems to be setting up. We go to the NQ and we take a look at the futures. I suspect it's going to be the same thing that happened. Now, see, it's, that's even different, too. The NQs, that, that was a no-brainer. The NQs, they came off the market with volume this morning, 36,000 contracts, come back and tested it with 10, and then took off. Notes and bonds. Now, this is, this is pretty intense, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, who knows what is going to happen at Jackson Hole here. But you have this 10-year right now at 109.02. And we've done this before, but let me put this again. TY1. I need the generic one. Generic one. Okay. So we take a look at the generic one. We're definitely not holding price. Still stretch this thing, man. Okay, so right now, I see, okay. Well, right now, we're, we're testing the lows that were established out here about a year ago, which is the 108.26. We've hit 108.31 right now. 108.24. We've hit 108.34. And this is going to be contingent on the good old dollar. You know, the dollar still looks to me like it wants to go to the next highest swing, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a close call here, man. As as is gold. As soon as we get back, I'll do gold. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.